are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Justin, is. look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Hands on top of your head. Interlock your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian. Justin lied to me! Who? Justin! Join the fun at U.S. Criminals' YouTube channel. Subscribe for daily doses of when dumb criminals cross paths with sharp-witted law enforcers. Like if you're ready for wit versus stupidity, share the laughter and make the world safer. Law enforcement officers arrived at a family residence in Tomo, Wisconsin, aiming to apprehend two individuals with active arrest warrants. Upon arrival, they discovered only Kay had a warrant. She asserted that her partner, Justin, wasn't present but refused to vacate the premises, engaging in a phone conversation. Subsequently, dispatch relayed information that a man, reportedly armed, had entered a nearby Walmart. It later emerged that Kay orchestrated this false alarm to misdirect the police away from her residence. Yeah, I can see her moving around in here. Seven, two, one, Giving her a couple commands to come out. She's verbally talking with us, but has yet to exit the building. She's on the phone when I saw her right here. Kay, we... Open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What are you Hi. doing? Are you yes, but what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you I'm here talking with, with her. Come on in. Don't leave the door open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. we got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but Spire. you also have a Jefferson County body only Which warrant. is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only, it doesn't have it's a bond It's body associated. only for child support, but if she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email, I'll show it to you. Send it to me, is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook, no. Okay, 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 just, just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry, I've been trying to handle this. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't even know. It the looks warrant. like the warrant was just issued. So for oh, him. Oh, here. Yeah, for him. Did you call nine one one a few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay. Do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah. My daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in. My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say, if I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. Oh, no. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea oh, that, this no. Is getting ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called, because okay. you called from this number. Okay, can we go talk in the kitchen for a second? So listen to me for a second. Okay. No, no, put the phone down. I want okay. you to listen and pay attention. Okay. Kay insists that she didn't file a false report with the police, despite multiple calls from dispatch to her number, which she repeatedly declined in front of the officer. If you're interested, here's how the call played out. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaked out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay. And how did she know? How did she see that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay, me hold on. Hold on one second. Okay. And how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... Now back to Kay. While we were here, you were inside refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. You were allegedly making phone calls, okay? Which I have. Why, why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Mm, well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. you I was were, on the phone with Justin. And you knew the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911 
and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun. Probably because I was panicking. Okay. Do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we I, were just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of... I'm not in my right mind. Okay. I'm just freaking out. I keep, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911 and I was going to say something. And then I was talking to my daughter on the house phone and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay. Does that show the recent calls? No, it doesn't do anything. That phone sucks. Yeah, I'm more concerned with the I'm fact I'm sorry. That, I don't even know listen, what... Listen, I'm more concerned with the fact that you called 911 yes, to report idiot. that somebody was at Walmart with a gun. Okay? That elicits, one, a large amount of resources to respond to a place. Two, it's... A false police report, okay? Yes. You're inciting panic. Yes. Okay? And three, it's a crime. I'm sorry, I didn't... I don't even remember doing it. I don't even remember... Sh I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you I remember doing it, and I don't. So you don't remember dialing 911 and then talking to a dispatcher? I have it on my call log. This is my boyfriend. Is that Justin? Yeah. Okay. So 125, can you talk for four minutes? Yep. Okay, so go back. And then at 1.30, so five minutes later, a full right, five as minutes. as soon as I got off the phone. As soon as you got off the phone, you made a one-minute phone call to him. Swatting involves making a deceitful call to emergency services, often fabricating a grave scenario like a hostage situation, shooting, or violent crime. The objective is to prompt an extensive law enforcement response, commonly involving a SWAT team, contingent upon the area's rules and the seriousness of the situation. Swatting can lead to substantial jail time. Thus, Kay's action was incredibly foolish. When the officer reviewed the call log, they noticed that Kay had repeatedly called Justin while the police were present at the door. Moreover, she frequently glanced toward a shed in the yard, prompting the officers to consider checking if Justin might be hiding there. Hey, is is Justin in the garage? No, Justin's not here. You're positive? I'm positive. His... He gave us permission to check the yeah, property. Yeah, you can check the garage. He's not here. Yeah, I was watching that call on the way over, too. That back shed doesn't open! Well, can you follow me outside so I can talk that short, at least? No, we're going to sit right here until they get back in. It's locked from the inside. Ten four. Just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back, and it is locked from the inside. So he's in that back shed. No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Here's they left a whole trail of. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. Okay. Justin and I were in an argument this morning, and when I was in the garage, when he said his dad picked him up and he left, he texted me. He said he was with his dad. I can show you the message. Okay. I haven't been back to that back shot. I don't go back there. There's a light on in there, too. It's like a little lantern. Here. So I don't know that he's here. She made several phone calls to him while we were in there, or while she was in there waiting on us. Uh, I would lead me to believe that he's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm not here, but this door's locked from the inside. Sheriff's office. Whoever's in the shed, come out now or we're coming in. Who lives in this back shed? Austin Jones was the last one back there. Austin Jones? Austin. Is he currently back there right now? Because the door's locked from the inside. I have no idea if he's back there now. He was supposed to come Austin this morning. Jones. We've got a shed back here that's locked from the inside and the property owner gave us permission to clear all of the buildings. Alright, we're gonna make entry in this back garage with permission from the property owner. Hey, Austin Custer, and he's got a warrant. That's who Austin Jones is, his alias. Austin, you in there? No, I'm not Austin. 
Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Yeah. Justin, look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Yeah. Hands on top of your head. Yeah. Interlock like your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian? Justin lied to me! Justin! Anybody else in here with you? He told me he left! Is that true? I'm just trying to make it to my mom's funeral tomorrow. Well, man, you... And then I was, I understand I was literally that. gonna turn myself in. I was trying to make it to Minnesota to my mom's funeral tomorrow. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. Mm. I understand that. So right now, I'm just gonna be put your phone on the table. I'm gonna be standing up. Okay, walk over to me, face the window, and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll, we'll just go like that, and I'll bring a sweater. <laughs> Probably one of the few Grandma, I have to go, Grandma. I have to go until Jefferson clears my warrant. It was paid. I showed him I paid it and everything. Justin was hiding in the back shed. He was back there now? Yeah. You can ask my grandma. We were fighting this morning. He told me he left. I have the text. Yo. I'm not used to wetting other people's noses. Well, Grandma, I got a snot hanging from my face. There's some hanging from my hands. Can you help me? I got snot hanging from my face. Kylie faced serious charges following the chaos. She was hit with felony counts for bail jumping and falsely reporting an emergency, swatting. Additionally, misdemeanor charges piled up for obstructing an officer, bail jumping, and making a false 911 call. In this recent incident, she attempted to outwit law enforcement by feeding them false details only to have her scheme blow up on her. A road altercation with another woman resulted in a police intervention, prompting the officer to interrogate Kylie. Her statements led the officers to consider the possibility of Justin hiding at the location. What did you follow me hey, for? Hey, what did you follow me miss, for? Miss, miss, miss. Listen, just I'm trying talk to get this to me. Hey, hey, talk to me, okay? We just got a call about you. I'm here to figure this out. Miss, wait in your car for me, okay? Please let her wait in the car, because I, please. All right. So, China, what's, what, what's going on today? I We got a call about you driving Girl, recklessly kept, and almost hitting her. That's what no, I call was No, what happened about. was, I'm trying to come through traffic, right? Okay. Where's your she car? She kept brake checking me, right there, at okay. the end. She kept brake checking me, right? Anyone else in the car, or was it just you? It was just me. She okay. kept brake checking me. I almost hit her car, so I had to swerve around before okay, I hit someone else. Okay, which way were you going? I was coming this way. I'm trying to get lunch. I'm okay. at work right now, officer. Okay, look, you understand that right now, traffic's pretty crazy. All right, on my way here, all right, I had to hit the brakes about 10 different times due to the traffic. Yeah, I understand okay? that, but that's my only vehicle. Okay, you, she was slamming on the brakes, and then what happened after that? I had to go around her before I hit her. Okay. I mean, you, you understand, you gotta, you understand that right now, traffic is insane. You gotta understand people are driving slow. Do you have your ID on you? No, I do not. Okay. I, I just literally said I'm at work. Okay. What's your name? Your How do you spell your first name? R E N E E. And middle? Middle? Yeah, your middle name. Say. How do you spell it? S H. Young. Young. Mm -hmm. Y O U N G. Mm -hmm. What's your date of birth? But right. And what's what's a good phone number? Follow for me you? because that's harassment. Well, she's reporting that you were you were driving recklessly and you almost hit her car. Okay. It wouldn't have happened Look, if she didn't stop while traffic was still going. If she didn't stop her car, I wouldn't have almost hit all right, her car. Listen, I'm trying work. to get my lunch and go back to the home. Back home? You just finished work? Not home. Back to the home that I work at. Okay, where is it at? Right there on Beatrice. You saw Renee visibly upset, alleging that the woman who phoned the cops cut her off without reason, suggesting she only passed to prevent an accident. However, the officer needs to hear the other party's account. Additionally, at the start, when Renee had her phone on, a female voice called her by a different name. Uh, you know, did you call? I did. Okay, well, so how did, what, what did you see from your So perspective? she was behind me all the way down past Plymouth. Okay. And she near, swiped near out. Near Chicago? Yeah, that okay. direct from that day. Go ahead. Um, so she was behind me. Um, she jumped out from behind me, hopped in the left turn lane, jumped right in front of me, almost hitting my car. Jumped back out of that, came from there to the right lane, cut all the way back over into the turn lane, drove all the way down the turn lane, and then whipped over again. Okay. So she almost hit my car, which is the original reason why I called. I got you. Well, I'm going to get you a witness statement. Just pretty much explain what happened from your end. Okay. Made, made easy pretty much. Okay? No problem. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay? 
I don't understand how she called the hey, police and she started all this. What's the point? Just, I'm just, just trying to get lunch out of her. She called the police. Can I please call my manager? Right just hold on to. Can I call my manager and let her know that I'm in trouble because of? Well, you're not necessarily in trouble. We have to investigate this, okay? Okay, go ahead. Last of young common spelling. First, Renee. The police, officer. the police officer is currently verifying her information and discovers that she deceived him while Renee is chatting on the phone. Simultaneously, another voice is heard addressing her using a different name. Uh, miss, what's your real name? Lashana Young. I don't have Lashana? my name. Yes. Okay, well, why'd you tell me a wrong uh, fake name? Because I thought I was a trouble officer. I'm so sorry. Well, the fa here's the thing. is When we get a call about reckless driver, we investigate it. Typically, we just get everything in probation. We get both sides of the story, and then we import it to our traffic bureau. But do, now, you are in trouble now because you provided me a fake name. Okay. All right, hang up the phone for me. I don't think I'm coming back to work. All right, hand me the phone. Face the car right here. Put your hands behind your back. Palms together. Roshana was taken into custody for giving false information and the arresting officer discovered an outstanding warrant for assault in a different area of the city. Additionally, it was revealed that her vehicle insurance had lapsed. Booked on these charges, you got a warrant for assault out of Southfield. So, once we get to the jail, after you're booked, you get them, that checked on. After we get all that figured out, okay, Southfield doesn't want you, you'll be released from our custody. If they do want you, you'll be going with Southfield, okay? I already told you, the car doesn't have insurance. Technically, the car, we, can, we don't do it all the time, but if your car isn't, doesn't have insurance, it can't be on the road. Due to this, Rana's car got towed while Roshana was heading to the hospital. Join us on the U.S. Criminals YouTube channel for a good laugh as we explore hilarious encounters between clueless criminals and sharp-witted law enforcers. Subscribe, like, and share the videos to spread the joy and support us in creating entertaining content.